if you don't know anything about the development of AI as well as mid journey well I'm here to tell you all about it hi all I know I'm late in the game guys in today's video I want to show you how you can use mid journey to quickly create logos for clients put in the design into Photoshop to take off the background to create a PNG file as well as either a black or a white version of the same logo so without much ado let's get started so guys this is mid jenny and as you can see you can use it to create logos once i got what i wanted i zoomed in on a particular design and created iterations of those and this was basically the final and now apart from these logos you can also generate painting very realistic images click a new browser and type in mid journey and once you click on that you notice that it gives you this matrix sort of screen now from this screen you need to scroll down and choose get started click on get started you will first have to log in with your discord account now if you don't have a discord account in a new browser and type discord account instead of logging in you can create a new account so once you create your Discord account, now there are three basic plans. I recommend that you do the standard plan. Now to do that, you click on your midjourney.com. You can choose the plan that you want and you can see that it describes what you get per plan. I am using the standard plan. So once you get into Mid Journey, you can see that it will take you to the default where you can see what everybody is generating. Um, if you scroll up, you can see so many different amazing images that Mid Jenny is able to create. To avoid your images getting lost in this pool of images, what you want to do is create your own little server that will capture and save all the work that you do. So you can click on the plus icon and say create my own and you can call it for me and friends and you can label it whatever you want and then you can click on create. Now the one that I created is the DTT. So if I click on that you notice that it takes me into the server. So everything that I do stays in the server. I went ahead to create a subfolder which is called the logo design. So you can do the same thing. You can create a channel by clicking on the plus icon. Just create a channel and click on create. So if we want to go ahead and generate a logo design, now you must have an idea what the theme, the type of company that you are designing for and the name of the company as well as colors brand. So you start off by forward slash imagine and then hit and enter and that will give you the prompt. So you want to go ahead and say minimal vector logo design for a shoe called speed and i'm going to do a comma and say let's have a white background and i can go ahead and hit enter so basically it will take its time to generate so i'm going to click on this so you see that it has given me the final design so guys if you find this video very valuable please give it a thumbs up tell me which part of this video is interesting to you now if i'm not satisfied i can give it another prompt to generate something else now when you look at the bottom of the images you see u one two three and four u is basically to upscale it so if you like it you can click on the u1 and it will upscale the one that you want meaning it will enlarge it now the v1 is to create a different variation of that particular design and we do have four designs i'm gonna go ahead and select or make a copy of what i originally have in my prompt and i'm going to go ahead and type in imagine and then paste in this prompt but i'm going to say 
a simple vector logo for a shoe company named so now you can see that it has given us very nice options now i'm going to click on v1 so it can generate different iterations these are the options that we have i still like the first one so i'm going to go ahead to say v1 to basically upscale it click on this and you can see and i'm just going to right click and i will say save and I will look for a location on my desktop and I'm just going to save it there. So if we go to where we have our file and I click on my file, right click and open in Photoshop. If I open the file in Photoshop and I zoom in, you notice that the resolution is really not of a, of a high quality. There is the software which is called Gigapixel AI that you can use. Type in Gigapixel AI upscale. It will just take you to their website. So you can see the website right here. You can try the free version. The free version will come with a watermark. It can be a bit pricey. So you should shop around. So you want to go ahead and drag and drop this image the software will begin to generate a high resolution and you can choose whichever size you want once you're done you can save your image and it will ask you do you want to buy if not whatever you have will have a watermark on it you can go ahead and generate the file so as you can see it did download it and if you zoom in you see the quality is great but it does have a watermark so you can see that this is much sharper than this now if we go to image and we look at the size you can see this is 11 by 11 with a 72 resolution now the other image if we go and we check you see this is at a 70 by 70 so this is at a higher resolution you can see that it is much more clear to take off the background is very simple unlock your image Make sure that you go pick up your magic one. Make sure your tolerance says 120 and we are just going to click in our image to select it. So once you have your selection, you can go ahead and inverse your selection. So click on select and then choose inverse. Then you can go ahead and add a layer max. Now you can go ahead and also add in your text. Once you get the design from mid journey, you can tweak and you know modify it as needed in photoshop right click on my layer and say apply layer max so we get rid of the background and i can basically select both layers right click and i can merge both layers so now i have one piece of art we can go ahead and save this as a png so go under file save as and you want to make sure that you set this at p and g i'm gonna go ahead and hit save if i want to create a black version or a white version of this logo all i need to do is go under adjustment and add a hue and saturation now if i take the lightness all the way to the right a black logo and if i take it all the way up i turn it into a white logo so guys i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe so that youtube can suggest it to many more people i will see you in the next video tell me what you think about my new background you like it or you don't bye